Does not having a vision or a plan for the future you want to have, future marriage, future marriage relationship, is that really working for you? Is it getting you what you want, or are you still single? Oh, I can so relate. I spent most of my 20s pretty much depressed and not doing well because nothing was working. Everything I tried, everything I thought was right. Um, because if you know, most of us in our 20s, we know it all. <laughs> oh, it was hard. And it did not lead to the results I wanted. And then something happened. I actually surrendered. I gave up. And a lot of things changed. I grabbed on to a bigger vision and I trusted God. Now, I know that sounds kind of cheesy in some sense. I trusted God, but I didn't just passively trust God. I actively trusted him. And I dove deeper into my, I was working on my PhD at the time and I dove into school and was dealing with some insane health issues. And so dove into fighting those basically and overcoming. And when I met my wife now of this summer will be 17 years. Yay. Um, wow. Nothing like what I had tried before um, was what I tried that time. It was all different because I had a strategy and a plan because I was intentional and because I did things very different. What if, what if the problem is you? It was for me. What if you need needed, like I needed a different strategy a different plan. I mean, if, even at one point, my mom sent me a book in the mail, pre-underlined her notes called Codependent No More, because what I was doing was not working. And I needed a new strategy, a very different vision, um, and basically a standards of what I was going to look for and why. Because you're different than I am, and we're all have different needs and who I married, you wouldn't want to marry and who you marry. I, it's, it's neat to see that and how beautifully different we are, but also how much, how, how the same, how we can also get stuck in some of the same loops and same problems. So if you're having trouble finding that person that let's call it a soulmate or best friend to marry, um, and you want help, I would love to get on the phone with you and for us to talk through these strategies that vision, those standards to help you develop a very strategic plan to be and find that person and marry well. It's not a game like a lot of people make it out to be. It's not a lot of a set of rules and things you have to follow. It's you being you and being honest and finding yourself merging with this other person quickly. I would even say it's a lot more easy than we think. And a lot of what gets in the way is when in our own head in our own efforts, we get in the way. And so I'd love to get on the phone with you and for, you, for us to talk through that. Um, click on the, the uh, find out more here and we can book a call and we can get on the phone and talk. And I would love to see if I can serve you to help you be the one and find that one um, to change your future because it's worth it. This summer I have 17 years of marriage. I hit that with so much pride and so much thankfulness to God and to my wife, and we have three amazing, crazy kids uh, that I wouldn't trade for anything. So bless you, bless your future marriage, and may you marry well. Thank you for tuning in to the Family Features Podcast. It has been an honor to serve. Find out more about Dr. Gilbert and his resources for you and your family's growth and success at healinglives.com. And if you think you could use some support along the way, be sure to book that call at bookdrg.com. And one more thing, if you found this helpful, please share this podcast with others so that we can change the world together.